This right here is a fully edited reel that I created from my YouTube video. And no, that did not take me an hour to create. In fact, it only took me a matter of minutes. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do this too using one of my favorite tools, Descript. If we haven't met already, my name is Melissa Mitchell and on this channel, I teach entrepreneurs just like you how to use YouTube to scale your business and fuel it with best fit leads. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Descript to take a full YouTube video and break it down into smaller 60 second clips all with video branding, all engaging so that you can throw them up onto your other social media platforms. Now, if you're new to Descript and you wanna just learn how to edit your videos in the first place, make sure you check out this other video right here because I'm gonna give you the exact tutorial on how to do that. So let's jump over into my computer and get started. Okay, so here I have the Descript app open on my desktop here, and I've opened up one of my previous YouTube videos that is completely edited, as you can see. And if you wanna learn more about how to edit a complete video using Descript, you can check out my other video on my channel. I'll make sure to link it in the YouTube cards above here for you. But this is the fully edited video, and now what I wanna do is take pieces of it to create shorter 60 second vertical videos for things like TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and so on. So this is how we're going to be able to do this. So first thing that I like to do is I like to come up into the top here and just listen through the video just to see what pieces might be the most engaging or what pieces might hook your audience in if they were only to listen to that first little bit, that 60 second clip. So I'm just gonna say show timeline at the bottom because I like to be able to see what's happening here. And if I hover my cursor right at the top here, I'm just gonna hit play. And we're gonna just listen to the beginning of this video to see if I would like to use that as part of a clip. You clicked on this video, so to me that means one thing. So before it starts to transition into the actual video here, I actually like this first beginning part because it can be a teaser that I put up on social media to promote this YouTube video, right? So I'm gonna actually highlight all of this first top here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on here and it's gonna bring up this media here. and down here where it says duplicate to, I can say duplicate to new composition. And you're gonna see below the, all the other ones that I've already created, but I'm gonna show you how to do this from scratch. So duplicate to new composition. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna take the text or the video that we've highlighted and bring it into a new editing document that we can edit further. So if I come up to the top here where, where it says, is this holding you back from being successful on YouTube? And then there's a second one here. If we click on that, it's going to bring up all the different compositions. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to this bottom one because that's the new composition we created and click on that. And you'll see that it's now taken us to a new composition where there's just that 50 second clip that I took. Okay. So now at the top here, we can rename this and say, is this holding you back from getting on started on YouTube? And maybe I wanna say YouTube promo teaser because I wanna use this as a teaser to promote. So one thing you can do is if you're looking to create a teaser for Facebook, you could leave it just like this and actually come up here and hit publish and publish again and download this and it would be a horizontal 50 second teaser or what you can do if you want this to be a vertical piece of content, like I said, is going to go on to TikTok or YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels. Then what you're gonna need to do is change the composition to make sure that it's a vertical video instead of a horizontal video like it is right now. So to do that, what you're gonna do is come up to the top here where this little aspect ratio is, click on this, and you're actually gonna move it to portrait. And so now that it's on portrait, you're gonna see there's black space on the top and bottom. So there are a couple different options here that I wanna cover. So the first thing that we can do is we can create a version that leaves this video itself as a horizontal video just placed in the middle of the actual frame here. And then we can use branding on the background to create a branded version that we could use on different social media pieces. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. But the first thing I wanna do is delete some of these other elements that we used on the full video, right? Because we might not necessarily want these to be on all of the pieces of the video. So now if I click on this black background here, we can start to do some different branding to this video to make sure that it looks exactly the way we want it to. So if we come over to the right hand menu here, this is where everything is going to be. 
So if we come over into elements here, we're gonna be able to see all of the different things that we can do to this video. So in terms of elements, we can add text to it, we can add different shapes, we can add more different dynamic text here, like a timer if we wanted to. We could add waveforms or progress bars, which can be really engaging for short form video. We can also add different annotations, so different maybe arrows or underlines. We can add overlays or frames. So you can really get creative about what you want to have inside of this different branded video here. And what's really cool is once you have a brand that you want created, you can actually make this a template and then it becomes a rinse and repeat process that you do over and over again. And if you want to learn how to create templates within Descript, you can check out my other video on my channel as well, where I show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create those templates. And I'll make sure to link that in the YouTube cards above here for you. But for the purposes of this video, let's pretend like we're doing it completely from scratch. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add a progress bar because I like to be able to see like how long is this video, right? If I was going to be sharing it on Instagram stories or something like that, I want them to know how long this is going to be. And so you can come in here and change all the different colors if you want. So maybe I wanted it to be blue, maybe I want it to be purple, or you can change the custom branding in here as well to um, whatever brand color you want. So I'm going to just put in mine here. All right, there we go. Perfect. And we can kind of rearrange these things as we go. Okay, the next thing is I want to add some text to the top, right? Because we want people to know what this video is going to be about. So I'm going to hit the text at the top here. And that's going to be the title of my thing. I'm going to just make this a little bit smaller, maybe like 100. And we're going to say effects. We're going to make this bold. Or maybe black. And then we can just drag it up to the top here and drag it out a little bit. Perfect. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is I don't want this background to be black, right? I want it to be one of my brand colors. So I'm gonna click on it again and I'm gonna come up into scene here and then you're gonna see background. So I'm gonna just click on here and grab a color. So maybe I want it to be uh, there we go. So there we go. Now I have my brand color on the background. Perfect. And now maybe the next thing that I want to do is I want to add um, captions so that they know exactly what I'm talking about. So I can come over to the actual document over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, put my cursor at the very beginning and then come back into captions down on the back on the right hand side here. And you can choose what type of captions you would like to have created here. So I'm gonna go with karaoke style and it's saying applying layout. So it's gonna take a second there. There we go and we can bring that up. So you see how once we finish this frame one, it actually stopped and reverted back to this old background here. And that's because if you look down on the timeline, you'll see that this, when we were applying this, only got applied to the first scene instead of all of the scenes. And if you've watched my previous tutorial about Descript and editing in Descript, you'll understand that Descript works within scenes. And so if you look back into this document style, you'll see these little slashes and those slashes mean different scenes have been applied. And so you can do two, one of two things. You can actually come in here and delete all the different scenes and that way it'll actually put the template all the way across or you could have just dragged the actual different elements across all of the scenes at the bottom but this way is a lot easier because in this short piece we don't need all of these different scenes we can actually just get rid of them so you come down here and just delete all of those little slashes and there you go now you can see on the left hand side here there's only one scene but you will notice also that there are a bunch of different things happening here in terms of what was on the original video that we edited that we might not want anymore or we might need to reposition. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to the top front here and we're again going to click play and just see where we need to get rid of things or delete things or move things around, right? So you can see there's multiple different um, captions happening. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag this out of the way for a second and I'm gonna delete, oops, delete some of these captions. So I'm just gonna say delete layer and delete layer. There we go. Okay, so now again, 
let's go back to the beginning. And if you look down at the bottom, you'll see all these different elements here. And that's why I also like to have um, this timeline up because it helps me to be able to see where things are positioned in terms of the actual video itself. So you'll see this lower thirds, that's fine. That's just my name on there. You'll see also um, the different thought bubbles. And so we'll say, okay, we don't necessarily need the thought bubbles there the whole time. Maybe we want it like right around here. And so we can drag and drop where we want these thought bubbles to start. So maybe we come right around here. And we do this next one right around here, right? And same thing with this one right around there. This one right around there. And so now again, we can start at the beginning and just see, is that exactly what we want? You'll also see this little guy hanging out up here. We can also delete him. So let's say play. Okay. So there is where we start talking about the thoughts, right? So we might want to just drag that back a little bit to right about there and right about there. And then we would want to take where this actually is right here. And we're going to bring this down into the bubble. There we go. So if we come back over here, you're going to see that that probably looks a lot better. And there's the second thought bubble. So we're going to bring this guy over just like that and bring him over. There we go. And so again, if we play it from the beginning, we can check that out. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So maybe we don't want these thought bubbles to be through the whole thing. We could again, come through here and play. And the reason I chose this video is because it is a little bit more complex in terms of the different elements I had used in the original edit. If you don't have these elements included, it's going to be a lot simpler for you. So keep that in mind as well. All right, perfect. And so now I might want to change this around a little bit. Maybe I want to change the color of this. Maybe I want it to be that green color. Maybe I don't want it to be Roboto. Maybe I want it to be uh, Lado and I want them to be a little bit bigger, maybe an 80 and two lines, right? And then maybe I want to move this guy. Move this guy up just a bit. Okay, so there we go. Now we have a fully edited video that is branded to our colors, our fonts, and all the things, and is ready to be published onto social media. And so what we can do at this point is we can come up to this little bubble up here where it says publish. We can say publish here. And then we can download it right here. Okay. The other option that I want to show you how to do is to create a version that is just the full video. Okay. So I'm going to come back into my full video and let's pick another piece that we want to pick out. So I'm going to scroll down here to find a, a little bit of a next tip. So let's start here. Okay, perfect. So let's say we want just like that. Let's duplicate to a new composition. We're going to open that new composition. And you're going to see here that it's a minute and 36 seconds. So we can come through here and again, get rid of all of these slashes, right? So to make it just one scene. There we go. So now it's just one scene. And now I want to make sure to take out some time, right? Cause it's a minute and 33 seconds. So I'm just going to come back through here and get rid of some of this ending stuff. Get rid of all of that. Okay, perfect. There we go. 54 seconds. So now again, we don't want this to be horizontal, right? We want it to be vertical. So I'm going to come to the top again, hit portrait. There we go. Now, instead of changing the background color and doing all of that, what we're actually going to do is just pull right up and pull right down. And then if you double click in, it's going to actually allow you to reposition. It's a terrible screen grab of myself terrible again, <laughs> it's a little bit better. You can actually position yourself a little bit better. Now, 
To be able to do this, it's really important that you are able to film yourself the right way in the first place to give yourself enough room above your head and to the side so that when you zoom in like this, you still have some space ahead above you like I do here. And that's one of the things that I teach you inside of my YouTube program, the sold out YouTube system is I'm showing you how to film so that you're able to repurpose more successfully. And so that's just one of the tips. So if I come back to the front here and hit play, you'll see that there we go. It's in that full vertical way. The next thing that I like to do to add a little bit of um, branding to it is I like to add some captions. So again, we're gonna come back to the front here, come to the right hand side, click captions, and maybe I wanna do these ones right here. So I'm gonna let that apply it to the layout here. And then right here, I can actually change some of these things around. So maybe I want it to be black, I want this to be that green color again, and I want this to be Lego. There we go. So now when I go back to the front again and I hit play, and there we go. Now we have a fully ready 54 second version to go out onto our different social media channels. Again, you can come up to the top here and change this. So um, maybe I want to say start small because that's what this topic is about. And then I'm gonna say 60 second clip so that you know when you download it what this is so then again you come up to the top hit publish and hit download so I want to give you some examples of the other ones that I've actually finished and created for this video so if you come down here um, you can come down you'll see I have one called compound interest reel so if I click on that you'll see right there that is exactly the reel that I posted to my social media channels There we go. And that took me no more than a couple minutes. Once I have these templates created, it's really just finding the key pieces of information from the long form video and creating that new composition to then export it right from Descript. It makes it super, super simple. Okay, how easy was that? I absolutely love that you can create your own branded captions for every single one of your videos to make your feeds look super consistent and super on brand. This tool saves you so much time, but if you wanna learn how you can repurpose your content even more to get more bang for your buck out of your long form videos or podcasts or blogs, make sure to check out this video right here where I go through 16 content repurposing hacks that every single entrepreneur should know. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you next week. Bye.